And just a little finishing for this section of video about operation number two is uh, this is what the chair looks like without the legs on there. So you are basically off the ground. You are off the ground. Um, but I also wanted to say this will fit in your tent now. Like you can sit in your tent like this and just put your pad under the chair so that you don't put pressure on your ground sheet and uh, now you can sit comfortably in your tent because you're low enough when you got the legs in there if you got a short tent like I do uh, you're you're up too high that you can't sit in your chair in your tent and being able to sit in your chair in your tent is it's gonna be great uh, and I haven't done it yet because I just decided to do this right now but I know that this will work in my tent and it's gonna be great because you got to be comfortable and this chair is great it just relaxes your back so well so after hiking and just being able to have a comfortable back in your in your tent is is priceless and one more point to say is what um, what was I gonna say oh Another problem with those stupid legs is they sink into the ground and you've got to find, you know, like a flat piece of wood or, you know, like four little things you've got to find to put underneath the legs so they don't sink into the ground, you know. So now that irritating um, task is totally removed from your chair experience because this does not sink into the ground and it might sink into the ground a little bit but you can see it's not going to be a major problem with that much surface area there and this crossbar right I mean sinking into the ground is not going to be the the big problem that it is with those chair legs just poof, just driving like nails right into the ground. So, all in all, you know, this is the ultimate chair zero right there.